What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we spot the latest and greatest of cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Welcome to Wednesday's episode. If you have not already, Monday and Tuesday are topics. We talked about United Health and how that's kind of uh, escalating. Right? Uh, and we talked about um, AT&T's recent or not recent compromise they were breached in the past but recently that data has surfaced and then if you check out ask SSP, that one will be with daryl brooks this this week and then kenneth ellington next week we have a bunch of returning guests coming to the show and then friday's everything else movies books games all that good stuff please 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 like share subscribe we're trying to get our numbers up we are currently at 900 subscribers on the the newsletter we're roughly uh 350 something uh youtube subscribers uh we have uh I want to say 600 between the two platforms, between YouTube and all the, all the rest. We have about 600 unique uh, listeners to the podcast. We want all those numbers to go up and increase. So please like, share, subscribe, uh, hit up uh, all the things that go by our name, and then uh, check out the, the newsletter. So I think it's pretty cool. Every article gets a, or I'm sorry, every uh, episode gets an article now, and then all that gets wrapped up to the newsletter. So check all of those things out. But without further ado, I give it a chance to hand it. All right, everybody. So this article is from Axios.com, written by uh, Andrew. Um, and it's a <laughs> this one is called Scoop Congress Ban Staff Use of Microsoft's AI Copilot. So knowing knowing how prevalent, uh, you know, the chat bot, uh, GPT and Microsoft Copilot, like the use of AI in general is out there. Right? You had to know this was going to come. Right. And it's a little bit of what this is, is pretty much a slowdown. Right? They banned the use of the Microsoft Copilot, but it's the commercial version. That's what they're doing here. Right? So they're saying the commercial version of Microsoft Copilot can't be on any systems that we have in here because they're working about data leakage. Right? So the government is working with Microsoft to get a different version in there, which I believe we actually talked about at, at one point. Right? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I, I think we brought this up before, that there was going to be a government version uh, that they were working for for AI. Is that accurate? Or did we talk about it offline? I think we talked about it offline. I don't think we might have. Yeah, I I think you're right. I think we were. I think we were going back and forth on it. You know, offline that wasn't on the show. But I mean, this is the way of the future. Like when it when it when it happens. uh, You know, this this will be when Skynet takes over. I'm saying it now. I've said it before. You guys will remember this. You know, in in the future. Um, But yeah, Copilot. um, They want it removed from all uh, like uh, Windows devices. So like. We we know we know we want to use this technology. Like they can't be behind all this. The, the government used to work at a, a slower pace, where they're like, we can't do that anymore. They want to be safe about it, but again, they're worried about the risk of sensitive information being leaked while using Copilot. Um, and, and and that's their big concern is is they don't want stuff to get out that shouldn't be out there, um, or maybe isn't ready for prime time yet. So like you don't want it to be, you know, um, before bills are worked out. You know what I mean? That the information for it gets out there. And then you get misinformation and stuff like that happens. So you got um, somebody in the house office that's that's working on something, drafting something up, and it hasn't gone through, you know, the, the usual rigor that it goes through before it makes it to the public. And all of a sudden it's like, hey, it, with the misinformation, it's, you know, this person is trying to, you know, kill off social security or whatever it may be enter hot button issue here right thing you don't you don't want that so and 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 that's and that's what they're worried about and 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 honestly like they're not waiting that long like this ban that they have right now they're not waiting this long because they're talking the article about how uh, this is going to be introduced this summer the government version is going to be introduced this summer and then we'll see where we go from there and that's not to say it's going to be implemented this summer it's going to be introduced and they're going to look at it and say okay how are these protections being met are we sure that this is not going to happen like the usual hopefully it's the proper vetting right that you that you would expect for things of this nature but we got to expect this is coming like it's to the point like we've seen AI. we've seen the 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 advance in technology because ryan you sent this out to the group where you were talking about the will smith video like the, the old one where it was like it would like stretch yeah, out every so often yeah yeah but that was only a year ago like mm-hmm. that was not long ago and then you see what ai is doing now like it looks so much better it's so much more realistic so i mean the time is coming like we're just exponentially we're getting to these landmarks faster than what we used to you know what i mean so um it is I, i'm glad that they are taking the do I don't want to say the do care. I'm glad that they're taking the caution that they are in implementation for this because 
it, it is the way of the future. Like there's no getting around it. You gotta stay up to date with the things that are happening nowadays when it comes to AI. And, um, they're gonna get there, but this is one. I'm, I'm I'm glad they're doing it. Um, and again, this may speed things along, right? Like when you leave it when you leave it up to AI to to make something happen. Like you just feed the input, and say this is what I want to do. This is what I'm looking for, right? Now, mind you, with misinformation out there, that's where it's garbage in, garbage out type of thing. Like it may be pulling some stuff that's misinformation. So you got to be careful about that. Like when they're writing when they're writing these bills that are a thousand pages, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm pretty sure the aides are probably doing most of the reading, right? But like you just got to make sure what's in there is right because it's going to be released to the public and it's going to get posted for everyone to see. It's going to go on that .gov site that says, this is what this bill is. You can find these things. Once these things are signed into law, they're not hard to find if you actually look for them. They're easily accessible. You know, you just got to know what website to go to. So um, they got to be careful. I'm glad they are. And uh, we'll see what happens over the summer. Like when the introduction comes for the government version of Copilot, we'll see We'll see how that rolls out, but um, I have faith that, that that the government will be careful about it, right? Because they don't. Neither side, no matter what what side of the aisle you find, you, 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 you uh, side on, neither one of them wants their the, their office to be misrepresented and stuff that's going out there. But Ryan, what's your thoughts on this? So I think I'm going to remember to say like, share, subscribe. Make sure <laughs> if you have not already, uh, jump on the bandwagon and uh, join our newsletter. We're almost up to a thousand people. Uh, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. We see that we have, uh, I think, upwards of the past 28 uh, days, almost uh, eight and a half thousand views, um, which is ex- exponentially higher than normal. But in, and they're all unique. However, we're only getting like a handful of subs from it. So come on, stick around. Like, don't just consume the content and move on. Definitely add us to your, um, your, you know, uh, at this point, YouTube is kind of like TV for me. Like, I don't even watch television anymore. I just go to YouTube and, and pick what I want to watch. So add us to your, your daily routine. So we have video, audio, articles, newsletter. Like, we're multimedia now. So check us out on all the places that you, you check out your stuff. I also do uh, I posts on YouTube. I don't know if anybody reads them, though. I don't, I don't read posts on YouTube, but it's a thing you can do. So now I add, I add the articles to that, too. I'm like, hey, check out more here. <laughs> Try to be everywhere you're at. So definitely check out all the places. But to get back to the topic at hand. So I agree with the uh the the blockage, right? I'm I'm very pro AI. Like so hopefully like you said, Sky Dad's listening to you. Hopefully you're listening to me. I, I could be mayor of one of your last human cities. <laughs> I really enjoy uh all the AI things. However, uh I, I can see it because Copilot does have a backdoor. Like it has to pull information in. Like if you want current up-to-date information how's it get it it goes to the internet pulls that stuff so if there's a way in there's a way out so there has to be some more security mechanisms put in place just to, to keep the information safe so i agree with it I, I, I thought that was already being built into copilot where if you were to um buy it as part of the suite because it's going to be a test to everything right copilot will be part of the operating system will be part of every uh office 360, 365 or whatever it'll be called in the future uh copilot will be a piece of all of that um i thought it was being being built to not necessarily have uh a big egress point like you have to have some kind of opening to the to the world wide web to pull pull data but i think that they're already building restrictions to keep you from sending out data right from training the model basically is what they're afraid of um like that's why i interpret the uh the article was not only data leakage but also training the bigger LMM with uh, drafted material. Cause that, like you said, that that would feed the misinformation because then co-pilot might spit that out somewhere else. When somebody looks at it like, Oh, what's going on with today is like you said, hot button topic. What's going on with this ban or this uh, what have you. It might pull that data somehow um, elsewhere and say, Oh, well, uh, representative so-and-so is writing a bill to ban X, Y, or Z. Um, you don't want that. You don't want to teach the larger model. Um, things that are not factual or not complete. So uh, it's good to see, like you said, that they're jumping on and they're trying to make it happen sooner or later. I would assume because Copilot has not rolled out that hardcore, like I see it already uh, when I go to like Bing or or what is it called? Not Bing. Um, when I go to, to Edge or Surface, what what's the, the operating system I don't use? Or not the... The browser. The browser. Is browser. Yeah, yeah, what's the browser called? Is it called Surface or Edge or something? Edge. Edge is the browser. Edge, yeah. yeah. It's just called Internet Explorer, people. Like, why are we reinventing 
like I, I feel like um, I'm getting old, man. Like just call it Netscape. Let's just go back. <laughs> call it what it is. <laughs> but no, um, uh, I, I already see it. it's already kind of baked in. So I, I I would assume it would be somewhat patchable to to remove it. But again, if it's already baked into the uh the design i think it's gonna be a little bit harder to to segregate that but like we both worked uh for air force enterprise so we saw microsoft roll things in and then they they have test environments before they roll it out to the bigger air force um so i assume they they were doing something like that they could roll it back um until this new whatever implementation like uh dod safe or or i guess it's not dod i'm still stuck in military uh federal safe implementation uh can roll out so it, it's interesting I, I can't wait to see what they do in the future because this will be baked into everything like i i was i was looking at a, a chart the other day where it showed that it would be able to if you allowed it if you wanted to trade it on your system so that way if you're writing let's say you're writing a white paper it would already be able to pull from your folders and already have data so it's pulling from the internet it's pulling from your folders it's helping you draft things and then it can also help you to repurpose that content so okay i wrote the white paper now help me write a presentation so it will build a slide deck for you like it's it's cool but dangerous <laughs> in the wrong implementation especially within the federal government and things of that nature so you have to be very cautious but if it's just you it's just Ryan out there, right? Writing an article, I can and I can repurpose my content several different times. That is amazing. Like that, it's so efficient. But again, like you have a page working for, for some representative, and then this information gets out there, that would be bad. So you do have to restrict um, its ability to to read your data. So whatever the implementation is, I don't know, but I, I think it will be a lot of it not able to do as much as it will do in our own homes. So there'll be a lot more restrictions put on the federal government, um, which is necessary. Uh, but our implementation is going to be crazy. I can't wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I, I, I thought this would be a good discussion because yeah, it is it's kind of cool cool to see uh, the pace. Because like you said, it's outstripping. Like Moore's Law is, is dead. I think that's the actual website. Moore's Law is dead. Um, it's, 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 things are moving so rapidly. Like, because I showed you the video of the old Will Smith thing from last year, the new model Sora that's being rolled out. But there's already another one um, that was coming from China that showed uh, it was a video of the lady from Sora, the one that was walking down the street. But now she was singing because there's no there's no audio in Sora. You can't make them talk yet. Uh, But the one that was coming from China was able to take a model that was already out there and then make it do things like say say things. Uh, It was singing a song. I was like, it was crazy and looked spot on it was that model repurposed so it's only a matter of time and the deep fakes are going to be ridiculous <laughs> that's that's the big part that's the deep fakes yeah, are going to yeah. get wow like the tom cruise one even from like a year and a half ago yeah, yeah. was the you know the golfing guy or whatever like even that was i was like man that's pretty good like you can still still tell it was a little off but that was pretty good i was like Ugh. yeah there was yeah, a there morgan was a- freeman one that was going around that was also spot on um but that one was they there's a university that figured out there's something to do with the eyes and reflections so you're able to um verify if it was uh ai or a person based upon the way that the eyes reflect the light but it, that's probably already already a thing in the past. There's there's only a matter of time before that gets fixed, right? Video games are pretty good about doing that when it comes to reflection and what's. Oh man, nice. I, 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 I sent you the Black Panther one. Yeah, yeah. the the Marvel 1943, like those, like the Unreal Engine yeah. was a 5.4 implementation. Looked yeah. like the person. Mm-hmm. Those were actors on my screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. AI is ridiculous. Yeah, because I, 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 that's what I did is I looked up like who the actors were and whatnot, and I was like, wow, that rendering, that's like dead on like as you look Spot at on. voice actor and then yeah it was, I was like, wow. yeah yeah we're we're in brand new territory um this is gonna get real it's gonna get real weird real fast and i'm I'm both excited and terrified at the same time <laughs> of his implementation but no i again i it's good to see the the federal government um because it based upon what they do with it will be what enterprise will do in the future right so uh, your bigger companies are going to have to do the same thing when it comes to intellectual property because um, you don't want it to be Google or Apple or something like that. And you're teaching a larger model about your prototypes. So then people are able to pull up 
the specs. Like, I wonder what the new iPhone looks like. And like, here's a render. <laughs> You're like, oh, this is spot on, like down to the dimensions of the phone. Um, and, and again, they've already started to roll that stuff out prior to pushing out Copilot because Microsoft's already been kind of ahead of it. It's just precautions. You have to just be very, very much uh, cautious when it comes to uh, the the data coming from the federal government, from other people's intellectual properties, things of that nature. Like my stuff, who cares? But uh, the you know these these trillion dollar companies, as well as uh, the government bodies that protect us, you have to be just very cautious. So it's good to see that they're doing it, and hopefully by the summer they've worked it out. That's not that long from now. Like summer is right around the corner. <laughs> So we'll see what they implement. But by, by the fall, it's going to be something else. <laughs> so we will see. Um, there's going to have to be brand new laws created um, to protect us from deep fakes and things of that nature. So we'll see see what the future holds with that. But uh, before I move on, I just want to plug that NVIDIA has a bunch of free courses. So if you go to the NVIDIA's website, uh, they have a bunch of um, courses through their Deep Learning Institute. So all I, all I typed is NVIDIA uh free ai training and then it popped up with like six free courses uh anything from the fundamentals of scaling gpu accelerated applications with c++ standard library which i'm not going to touch because i don't know what that means to uh high performance computing with containers and i saw one that was uh uh, more applicable more practical when it was just how how to create a brain in 10 minutes I was like, that's cool. So you can build a chatbot that does a lot of different things uh, more realistically, more intelligently. And I'm probably going to play with that one this weekend. Uh, so because I'm trying to make producing the show more uh, more efficient. So I'm going to try to build a brain in 10 minutes. I'll let you know how that goes next week. <laughs> As if like, and it took over. <laughs> So we'll see what the future holds. But yeah, definitely, if you are still on the fence about AI, um, I'm not here to um, push you. I'm here to say you should probably just learn the fundamentals uh, because I don't think AI is going to take our jobs, but someone who understands how AI works will take your job because that will be a requirement of the future. Um, like they always want you to do more, right? So that that job rec will say you have to do your job plus understand the fundamentals of blah, because um, uh, they can get more out of you. Like it's not it's not a purpose. It's not the purpose is not to necessarily replace you. It's to make you more efficient, and they can find this person who's more efficient at using AI because they understand it. Um, then they will replace you with that person. So you won't be replaced by a machine. You'd be replaced by somebody who understands how to speak to the machines. So. So don't be afraid of it. Embrace it because it's the future. So with that being said, continue to tune in. Uh, please check out the newsletter. Uh, I will probably put that course stuff in there uh, in the next newsletter as I, as I work my way through it. Uh, there's some real big brain stuff in there that I probably won't be able to touch anytime soon. But like the smaller fundamental stuff, I definitely want to get my, my uh, mind wrapped around it, just like I did with the PMI course. Um, just cause it, I, I learned something, like I took a 45 minute course and I shaved off so much time when it came to my projects, um, just on how to ask it the appropriate questions. And then obviously you have to vet all this stuff. So don't, don't think that you cannot read it and things of that nature, but it's, it's quicker for you to give it the information and then to make sure it's fact check it than to build everything by hand. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, hit up all the websites that go by our name. See you on the other side of the firewall, the other side of the FW or Ask Assist P. Uh, you can find us now on uh, primary LinkedIn, Medium, but also check out um, Threads, IG, TikTok, where we put all of our short content to hopefully entice you to watch the, the larger stuff. Um, our topics are Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday's discussion. Thursdays will be Ask Assist P. This one will be with Daryl Brooks. Uh, uh, really good uh, conversation with Daryl Brooks. This is the second time on the show. It's been almost a year, so we had a lot to cover. And then Fridays, everything else. Movies, books, games, all that good stuff. So check us out again on all those platforms. You can me up personally. I'm at RyRy Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy. You can find me on LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Threads, IG, uh, Twitter, and then the uh, company account on TikTok for however long that lasts. And then Chris Abacon, our other co-host, you can find him on LinkedIn. So at Chris A. Bacon. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. I think we covered all those things. Like, share, subscribe. Please like, share, subscribe. Stay safe.
stay secure.